Okay, I'm back with uh, skill three, um, perhaps a little bit more difficult, but we'll try to do it quickly. From rectangular to polar, this is converting from rectangular into polar coordinates. So if I start off with my uh, Cartesian coordinate system, and we start off with a fairly easy example, a point right here that's at 4, 3. That's our rectangular uh, position for that point. I want to know what is the distance to that point from the origin, that's our r, and I also want to know then what's the angle theta that will rotate to get us there, okay? So again, if we just think about it in terms of uh, rectangular coordinates being over some x amount, that's 4, and then up some y amount, that's 3, we can see pretty quickly that uh, using the Pythagorean theorem, squaring 4, squaring 3, adding them up, and then square rooting them will get us that radius. So r then is equal to x squared plus y squared and then square rooted. That'll give us that absolute distance it is from the origin. In this case, 4 squared, 16 plus 3 squared is 9, that's 25. Square root of 25 tells us that in this case, r is equal to 5. So converting this into polar, this is going to be 5 comma and then some angle. All right? So, uh, what is the angle there though? All right, so I, um, I would prefer that you guys use the tangent function because we're given these coordinates x and y and as we've done before we can go through that given angle that we're looking for and that's the opposite side, O, and this is then the adjacent side because our hypotenuse there is directly across from the, rec from the right angle. So this is our adjacent side and TOA from SOCA TOA tells us that it's a tangent ratio that we'll use to solve that missing angle. So then, how do we do that? Well, we say that the tangent of theta, the tangent of this angle is equal to 3 over 4, the opposite over the adjacent equals 3 over 4. So then, to solve for the missing angle, we do the inverse tangent of both sides. Some books will call it the arc tangent of both sides. But we, by taking the inverse tangent of both sides. You can think of it in a sense as canceling. It's the opposite of the operation, so it doesn't really cancel like division. But theta then is equal to the inverse tangent of 3 fourths. And when you type that into your calculator, you'll see that it is very close to about 36.8 degrees. So 36.8 uh, degrees is equal to our theta there. So then converting this from uh, rectangular to polar will be 5 comma and about 36.8 degrees, okay? So that's that example. However, it's not as simple as that. If I have a point that's some other quadrant than the first, I need to uh, take into account that our right triangle that will solve this is different for each quadrant. So let's just pick a point over here. Let's say we're at negative 12, 5, okay? I've gone negative 12 units this way and up 5. My scale is a little bit different, but we can work with that. So doing the same math, right, I can find that this distance here is negative 12 times negative 12 is 144, plus 25 is 169. When I square root that, that's exactly 13. So again, converting this to uh, rectangular, uh, to polar, is going to give me a radius of 13. But then I want to know what this angle is rotating around to there, okay? Well, to find that angle of rotation from the horizontal all the way around past 90 to there, what I will actually do is find this angle here, theta, based on this right triangle, and then it's going to be 180 degrees minus that theta when I'm in the second quadrant. In this quadrant, it's just theta for the first quadrant. If I had a point that was down here, say, negative 12, negative 5, and I find this angle here, it would be 180 plus theta, because I'd want to rotate 180 degrees around to here, and then go that extra distance theta. Okay? And then in the fourth quadrant, if it was some point down here, I'm not running out of space, but I'd want to go all the way around and then back theta. So if I find this angle theta, I would then subtract that from 360. Okay? So just to clear a space up here, in each quadrant, this one will be 360 minus theta. This one will be 180 plus theta. The one that I'm going to do now will be 180 minus theta. All right? 
So how do I find that theta? Exactly the same way as before, only I can just think of it in terms of absolute numbers. This is absolutely 12 units. This is absolutely 5 units. So theta then is going to be uh, tan to the minus 1 of opposite side there, 5 over 12. And when I find that angle, it's going to be something like 22, 23 degrees when you find it. I'll take that away from 180, and it's going to be about um, 158 degrees or something like that. You can check on your calculator, but the concept is the important thing. So here, I would be uh, 13 and about 158 degrees, okay? Something very close to that. Thanks.